Pamilin and Refiled Coconut Levy Funfield, Manila, Philippine Senator Francis Pamilin and Refiled on Monday a measure seeking to establish a trust fund for coconut farmers, although President Rodrigo Duterte had already vetoed an earlier version of the bill. Three, the President then explained that he vetoed the bill because it lacks vital safeguards to avoid tax mistakes, and that it might be violated of the Constitution. Three, the Millennium said coconut farmers had long been waiting for the trust fund. May of this 40 k in non highly in Haido Navy named Magnilius. Kazan to Madagal Mashindi Nila Sinapas in Abangan, to Madagal Dinang Pash Pulat Mok Nila Sahira, he said in a statement. Left square bracket our coconut farmers have been waiting for this for more than 40 years. The longer that they could not benefit from the sun, the longer they are weighed down by poverty. Right square bracket the levy was imposed on coconut farmers during the martial law of then president, Ferdinand Marcos. It aimed to benefit contributors. However, only the cronies of Marcos were able to benefit from the sun, which then grew to about 80 billion. The Millennium still aims to introduce mechanisms for the disposition of some cocoa levy assets, management and utilization of the available cocoa levy funds, providing coconut farmers a say on how the fund will be managed, invested, allocated, and utilized. The first round of the filing of bills at the Senate, under the 18th Congress, started on Monday and will last until Thursday. The order of filing is set according to the Senator's seniority or length of service. For the first tranche, Senators can only file up to 10 bills and resolutions. The Millennium also filed bills aiming to establish the Department of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, FARC, the Department of Disaster and Emergency Management, DEM, the enactment of the National Land Use Act of 2019, and the Single Use Plastic Regulation and Management Act. The Senator also plans to file other agriculture bills such as the Post-Harvest Facility Support Act, which aims to improve the lowering of post-harvest production losses, and the Expanded Crop Insurance Act, which will increase the mandatory crop insurance, especially during disasters and calamities. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.